Hello guys, Sebastian Noguero is here again, now this time with another tutorial with some quick tips regarding how to use functions in Microsoft Excel. This time, I'm gonna show you one of the most useful and important functions in Microsoft Excel, the IF function. Well, the IF function can perform a logical test between two or more variables. If we want to return a true result or a false result as well. In addition, if function can be combined with mathematical operations if we want to retrieve a specific set of results as well. So this time we're gonna check how the if function works with a simple example. As you guys can see on screen, we have an exercise. An exercise retrieved from IGCSE ICT papers, indeed. The exercise requests that we must write a formula that will be entered in this cell, cell C6, to display two results. Pass if the values for the examination marks of this set of students are above or greater than a specific condition. In this opportunity, we have a condition of 69.99 marks. If the examination marks represents a value greater than this, we must return the word pass. If not, the word fail will or must appear. So this is how you start. First, locate the cell we're gonna use, in this case, cell C6, and whether you use formulas or functions, you must start with an equal sign. Next, you type the if function and start the parentheses. Once you start with the parentheses, Microsoft Excel shows you guys an assistant. The assistant, as you guys can see on screen, is this piece of text where you guys can see that the first step is to set up the logical test. In other words, the cell or the value I will use to compare. In this case, for the first student, we're gonna use the cell B6. We're gonna compare the examination mark of 20. Using the point and click method, I click on cell B6, next, we're gonna establish the comparison value. So, for this exercise, the request says that the value must be greater than, or if the value is greater than, so we're gonna use the greater than operator, and then 69.99. So, if the examination mark is greater than 69.99, next, we're gonna use a separator. In my case, and based on the assistant you're still watching on screen, I must place or type a semicolon. You can use semicolon or commas depending on the region and language version your operating system has. In my case, I'm using the semicolon. So, the semicolon represents if the statement is greater than a specific value then return the true value. The first value must be pass. Every time you use text as a result value or a return value, you must put those words within quotation marks, just like I'm doing right now. Pass. The true value is now set up. The last part in this if exercise is another separator and now check that now the syntax is requesting for the false value so if the statement is greater than 69.9 then return pass else return fail and I'm gonna close quotations I'm gonna close parentheses and I'm gonna hit the enter key Voila! As you guys can see, the condition returns failed since the examination mark, in this case 20, is 
less than 69.99. But since we're using a point and click method, if I manipulate this data and replace this with a number higher than 69.99, for example, 80, the condition works fine. Okay, I'm gonna return the value and in order to complete this exercise, we're going to replicate the formula. The simple step to replicate formulas is to rest your cursor at the bottom right corner in the cell and you will see how the white cross transforms itself into a black cross. Just click, drag and release and you have an automatic calculation for every single statement. Well, it's time to mix things up a little bit. Now we have a new exercise and a new challenge for the if function. This time we're gonna mix some mathematical operations and the use of multiple and combined if function. So first, let's analyze what the exercise requests. Basically, we have a table that represents the hot house design cost for some place and some tourist brand. We have some empty columns and the column we must be focusing right now is the advertising cost. The column we're gonna use to express the result based on the following instruction. The instruction says, in cell G7, enter a formula to calculate the advertising cost, which is the rate, the rate, this value, multiplied, we need a mathematical operation, by 25 if the resort has 50 or less rooms, 75 if the resort has more than 50 but less than 101 rooms, 150 if the resort has more than 100 but less than 201 and finally 200 if the resort has more than 200 rooms. As you guys can see, we must establish a set of multiple conditions instead of two, we need four different conditions. So this is how we start. So first, locate the cell G7, click, check it and next always start with the equal sign but instead of starting with the if function we must start first with the mathematical operation since the exercise tell us that first we must multiply the rate the next step is to point and click the cell with the rate value in this case f5 multiply by and now the condition if parenthesis and we must start over as we did on exercise one the logical test in this case cell f7 if this amount of rooms are or has 50 or less so I can use less than 51 I'm fulfilling the condition 51 is greater than 50 so if the cell f7 is less than 51 semicolon don't forget the separator comma or semicolon in my case semicolon give me the first statement so the instruction says that I must multiply by 25 if the condition is true so instead of using words this time I'm gonna put numbers I'm gonna type 25 that means that multiply the rate by if rooms are less than 51 multiply then by 25 but it turns out that we need more conditions so instead of placing the next condition we must increase the set of variables the best way to do this is after we use the separator we can start a new if statement so if we 
enter if again we start a nested formula a formula or a function inside of another function so I'll start again now if the same cell now is less than 101 the second statement then multiply the rate by 50 and I'm keep going and going with the other two variables that is on. Notice that at the end you must close every open parenthesis you may use along the function. Plus at the end I switch the operator to greater than because the instruction says that I must multiply by 200 if the value is greater than 200. So let's check the function one more time. So first we have the logical test in this case the, the first cell and I must multiply this logical test based in all four variables by the rate so if I hit enter now we got 3105 which is the result of multiplying the rate by the condition expressed before now in order to complete this activity, we're going to replicate the formula as I show you in the first exercise. So I'm going to rest my cursor here. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag and release, drag to the bottom, release. And hey, what's going on? OK, there are some errors, some mistakes we must attend. So let's analyze what happened in cell G8. So if I double click, I notice that for some reasons the formula is taking the cell F6 instead of F5. If I keep checking another set of cells just to double check if my exercise is correct, hmm, that's odd. Okay, I'm noticing that instead of F5, the function is taking the cells above in a sequence. So how do we fix this? If the statement says that we must multiply the rate every single time. In fact, it's easy to fix. First, we must return to the formula and this reference is a relative reference. So that means we must lock this cell into the function. So the thing we must do is to convert this relative reference into an absolute one. The way you can do this is pretty simple. Use currency symbols and enclose the letter into currency symbols, just like that. This is the way you transform relative references into absolute ones. So let's hit enter again. Okay, 3105, and now drag, extend, release, and you solve everything. Just to double check, all logical tests below 50, the advertising cost must be 3105. Let's check, 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 no more. All statements with rooms between 50 and 101 must have the same advertising cost. Let's check. Done, done, done. And so on, so on, so on. If you want to keep checking, do it. But this is how we use combined or nested functions using, of course, the if function. Well, that's all for now, everybody. Hope you learned something new. And don't forget, Excel is a powerful tool for data modeling scenarios. So stay tuned and see you on the next lesson. Bye bye.